I'm Gia Nicolaides and it's day 112 of the national lockdown. There are just under 146,000 active cases, meaning people that currently have the virus. The number of deaths has gone up to over 4,400 and the recovery rate is sitting at 52%. It's exactly a week since Gauteng became the epicenter with the highest number of infections in the country. The province now accounts for over 36% of all cases. And Zinzi Mandela, who passed away at the age of 59 this week, tested positive for the virus, according to her son Zondwa, who confirmed his mother's diagnosis to the SABC. However, the autopsy results are still outstanding. She will be laid to rest on Friday. President Cyril Ramaphosa did his second in Bezo last night, where the public got to call in and ask questions. He covered everything from schooling to the profound economic crisis we find ourselves in. Teachers Union Satu made a big call to have schools shut down until the COVID peak has passed. And Naptosa also wants a rethink of the reopening. But the education department says schools will stay open for the foreseeable future. The minister is holding multiple meetings with stakeholders across the sector and those are expected to wrap up on Friday. The president told members of the public that he hoped unions and government would find some kind of consensus. He says the solution lies in consultation. Cyril Ramaphosa has also warned that more people will lose their jobs. And a new research report called the NIDS Cram Synthesis Report paints a grim picture on the social impact of the virus. The report is the result of 30 social science researchers from five South African universities who put the study together. And it shows that 3 million South Africans lost their jobs during lockdown. At least 1.5 million people managed to hang on to their jobs but lost their income, so companies cutting back on paying salaries. The worst affected people are the working poor, manual laborers in particular. Women also came off particularly hard. It's really quite staggering to note that of the 3 million people who lost their jobs, 2 million were women. And poor, uneducated black women fared the worst. Government is holding another economic cluster briefing today on the way forward. Tobacco Association FITA was back in court yesterday to appeal the ruling that cigarettes remain prohibited. Government has accused the company of putting profit before health in its efforts to have cigarette sales unbanned. Judgment in the matter will be delivered next week. Meanwhile, while there were concerns about the virus spreading in the country's prisons, it appears that just a fraction over 1% of the total prison population contracted the virus. Most of the inmates are now officially listed as recovered, so currently there are 239 active cases in prisons. For more on the pandemic, go to our website ewn.co.za and remember to like, share and subscribe to this YouTube channel.